Hello, I'm going to do the Scorpio Weekly Love Energy for the 14th to the 20th. And this may or may not resonate with you as this is still a general reading. My intention is for this to be a love reading, but you never know what the cards are going to say. And who they feel needs to hear a message. All right, we're going to start off with some Romance Angels, and then we're going to pick some Tarot cards. We have Calling in Your Soulmate, Pay Attention to the Red Flags, Heart to Heart Conversations. All right, so we have Calling in Your Soulmate, Your Prayers, Affirmations, and Visualizations Help Bring You Together. We have pay attention to the red flags, the signs are cautioning you, and heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. We have two of wands, princess of wands, ace of cups, three of pentacles, eight of pentacles, five of swords, king of wands, hangman, and the wheel. more tarot. Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Six of Swords, Five of Cups, Two of Wands, Knight of Swords, King of Cups, Eight of Pentacles again, because I think you got that one there, and Page of Wands. So my overall feeling for this reading, which we'll break it down in a minute, but my overall feeling is that there is a new relationship coming in for you or you've started a new relationship, but your red flags are that, I feel the red flags are about yourself, about you sabotaging a relationship um, when you feel that it is getting um, too emotionally overwhelming for you because you're almost afraid of a good relationship and that you self-sabotage it and you need to communicate with this person that this is what you do like you realize that you do this and that you have to have this conversation with this person so that they know what you're doing so they can help you get through this okay so that is my overall feeling on this reading so now let's break it down so we have calling in your soulmate. So it is someone that you want to have in your life. It's about um, someone that you want to have a lasting relationship in an emotionally and physically fulfilling relationship. It's about learning and growing with that partner, having that partner that's there for you through the good and the bad. We have two of wands, which represents moving forward, taking those initial first steps to move forward in this direction of having that relationship with this special person. It's about Princess of Wands is about putting that into action, about doing what you need to do in order to make this relationship work. And we have the Ace of Cups. Aces represents new beginnings, and that does re represent um, relationships. I feel like it also represents an emotional new beginning for you, too. It's about you changing your patterns from the past that were not healthy and it's about you becoming stronger and emotionally stronger and realizing what it is that you're doing in relationships and to have that new beginning with this person that can help you get through this. We have seven of pentacles and that represents hard work and patience is rewarded. It's about you will be able to see these rewards because you've recognized what you've done in the past and how you've handled situations and that you need to change that, that you need to look at things from a different point of view and that becomes very rewarding for you because you have this amazing relationship with this person. Eight of Swords represents you being afraid to move forward, like you're holding yourself back. Um, there are still things that you are afraid of to, to let go of because 
you know, doing things a new way, change, change can be scary. And maybe this relationship is a very strong relationship for you, a very good relationship, and you're not really sure how to handle that. And like, you don't want to have it fail, but you're also afraid of it or it makes you nervous. We have Six of Swords, it's about moving forward. It's about pushing through those harder times and to, sh to show yourself that you are strong, that you are capable, that you are confident, that you can work through these things. I feel like this has to do with a reading about self. It's about, it's about you um, becoming stronger and what it is that you want is coming in because you're, you're realizing um, what it is that you're doing to make things not happen. Um, then we have pay attention to the red flags. I don't feel like this has to do with the other person. I feel like this has to do, do with you. It's about things that you do um, that self-sabotage a relationship and I have to admit that I am guilty of that too and if this does not resonate with you and then this is not you then this is not the reading for you but this is the reading for that person that realizes that they do things because they're almost afraid of having something so good because they're used to having things always be wrong or bad or negative and it's about accepting the positive it's accepting the change and the positive things that want to come into your life and that's okay and that you can do that and you do deserve that it's going to take some work for you to recognize this and work on it and change your habits it's not something that's going to happen overnight it's a new way of doing things it's a new way of looking at things yes things didn't turn out from the past but you're going to step on those things that did not work and you are going to take what does work and you are going to move forward. You're going to move away from this negativity and this, you know, you are going to take what works for you, the positive, and you're going to be strong and move forward that and stomp out what does not work. When those negative thoughts start to come into your head, push them away and don't let them take control. All right, five of cups. There is an offer here. There is a two of cups behind you. You're feeling overwhelmed. You're just focusing on the three cups, but there is two cups that wants to come in for you. There is this new relationship that wants to come in for you, okay? Two of wands, that represents, you know, um, making choices. Which way do you want to go? Which path do you want to go? It also represents two sides coming together and the beginning of a new relationship, okay? And again, that is the relationship that wants to come in for you and charging forward, changing your ways, changing your thoughts. Um, again, it's not something that's going to happen overnight. Um, but if you can recognize it and it's something that you can realize that you're doing, that's, that's the first step, you know, just being able to recognize that. Heart to heart conversations. Like I said, I feel like you need to talk with your partner and let them know. Um, even if it's a relationship that you've been in for a while, this could represent a renewal of a relationship and maybe the two of you have been fighting and you haven't been getting, to, getting along together, but it's about you recognizing your part in the relationship and what you're doing to possibly sabotage the relationship um, because it's so good um, like I said, and if you feel like you don't deserve the good, um, that you need to communicate with your partner that these are the feelings that you're struggling with, this is what you're going through, um, that you don't want to end this relationship, that you want to work on it, you want it to be stronger, and it's something that you want, but it's something that you need their help to help you move forward and be strong and be confident. Um, King of Wands, obviously that is somebody who is very confident, somebody who is very strong that could represent your partner or it's about being strong, having confidence and moving forward. It's about, we have the Hangman which represents looking at this relationship from a different point of view, um, looking at it differently about your input in this relationship. We have the wheel, which represents change. It's a new way of doing things. It's a new cycle. It's a it's a new, um, I, I just feel like an eye-opening situation, a new perspective. We have the King of Cups, so that could represent you, that this is, you know, emotional, that this is something that you have to almost go with the flow and let things happen. If this is the direction that you're going in, don't fight it. Like just 
embrace it and hold on for the ride and to move forward and you will feel so renewed and refreshed and so happy that you've gone through this eight of pentacles again it's a new way of doing things and page of wands is about it has you know good energy that's coming in you know and it makes you feel good it makes it's a new way of being in the relationship it's about building the relationship and having a stronger relationship relationships no matter what they are if they're friends or family it's always a work in progress and we can't always put that on the other person that they're not doing their part we also have to look at ourselves and what are we putting into the relationship what energy are we putting into the relationship um, what energy are we not putting into the relationship are we being true to our feelings in the relationship and how much we want to work on it are we growing are we learning in this relationship because that's what relationships are, is they're, they're constantly evolving. All right, that one flipped over. So we have acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change what that which is beyond our control. It's about accepting the way that we are. It's about accepting that maybe we do do, you know, self-sabotage relationship. You know, it's about accepting that, realizing it, and starting from there and maybe things have happened in the past that we you weren't happy about, but you can't control what happened in the past. You can control from this point forward. That's what you can control. You can control how you're looking at it. You can control your actions. You can control your perceptions because you're looking at it from a different way. You can't change what happened in the past. Um, but you can make changes going forward. Um, and accepting that that's what, what they are. I feel that there are some things that you can change, you know, your point of view. Um, there are some things, obviously, that you can't change. Maybe some people don't want to change. Some people just want to be the way that they are. I definitely know people like that. Like, they just want to be the way that they are, and that's fine. So you have to accept is, you know, if you want to have a relationship with that person, that's, that's what that relationship is. But I feel like this message is for that person who realizes that they may self-sabotage relationships and that they need to do things to change that perspective and to look at things differently and realize what they're doing, communicate with their partner that they they realize that this is what they're doing, that they're not trying to be hurtful, but this is how they're, you know, they're, this is that they that they want to this person wants to move forward and work on this relationship it's going to take some work but i feel that you can do that because like i said if you could recognize the problem then that's what you can work on and it's not going to be something that happens overnight because you care about this relationship so much and you want to move forward with it and you will see the rewards of that all right thank you so much for watching as always stay positive stay safe and i will see you next time